Hi everyone, this is Alex. I thought I'd show you the uh, Epic Development Kit. What you see here is the um, the Howdy device, which is a sort of a link device, except it's got a different motherboard, and it's connected through uh, two wires to the Howard board. These are jumpers um, four and three, the bottom two, and there's another connector going from the Howard board all the way across to this Amiga 2000 machine and the way this works is that the Amiga has the, um, the programs running we'll start those up in a minute and it will download binaries into this, um, this Howard board which is actually the inside of a Lynx device it's all there on the motherboard with a lot of RAM chips and other stuff that emulate or simulate what the um, links is like and it also has a couple of stuff to um, to monitor the buses and video writes reads and so on we'll look at those in a moment so first of all let's fire up the Amiga machine and you'll need a Amiga um, workbench 1.3 or later I'm running 2.0 and the first thing that we'll do is that we'll start up a shell to do some uh, administration to get all the uh, epics SDK stuff working. So we'll start a shell. We'll assign some new things to um, the path handy. We'll assign 6502 which is the uh, source code for all the examples and with that we'll add something to the path and now we can run handybug which is the communication program which will communicate from the Amiga device to the Howard board There we go. So there we have it. And first thing you'll see at the top is that it says parallel port is down. But we'll make sure that it uh, gets connected by switching on the, uh, the Howard device. Which is actually all the way over there. We'll turn that on. And immediately you'll see that it says parallel port is active. Alright, now next thing we need to download something into the memory. Go to the right disk and we'll go to the disk where all the samples are located. 6502. There we have some examples and we'll pick one test H music bin. Once we upload that we can actually look at the code. The code is probably located somewhere around 0800 hexadecimal so we can go there and as you can see this is what is uh, currently downloaded into the memory so into the Howard motherboard. It shows the disassembly so you can actually see what is uh, loaded up there and all you need to do after that is just press go. And if you now listen here, you can hear the device, it's playing the music. I'm still working on the video because if we repeat kind of this uh, sequence, if we repeat it with a different program, we can download another uh, example something like uh, multiply there we go and we can press go again what you see now is that a third of the screen is actually broken and I think it's the connector from the LCD panel but there's also something wrong with uh, the display and I know it's working correctly because I've seen it and we just heard the music but there might be something needed to uh, bootstrap the, um, the program in a better way. 
Well, this is uh, what working with the um, Howard Development Kit looks like. It's uh, what the original developers work with. Thanks for your attention. Bye.